interesting guy, man. And, uh, you know, he believes it. So, Kyrie, the earth is flat, right? Yeah. 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 So, whatever. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> you are now tuned into the truth frequency. We are TFR. TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Broadcasting straight to you from a large spaceship, currently anchored over Raleigh, North Carolina, eagerly awaiting the 2017 International Flat Earth Conference, coming this fall. Hello everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, well, you're obviously neck deep in Flat Earth drama, even though I'm going to do my best to avoid that topic tonight. For those of you listening to this on YouTube and you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Currently, the show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. And if you are listening to this now and it is not Tuesday night, well, then it's not live which means you can't call live into the show. And yes, tonight will be at a call-in show. And yes, tonight is June 13th. I'm going to try to do that a little bit more because I know that in case, you know, there's a rerun, people call in anyway. So, but again, you can call the phone number uh, 720-897-6111 after my announcements. That number is 720-897-6111. And I think... The peanut gallery helped me, uh, and we're going to aid the volcano phone gods because what we're going to do is just kind of stack them up. Skype is really weird. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Quote of the day, and I'm not going to do a German accent because I can't necessarily pull off a German accent even though I come from a fairly strong German family. I, I keep slipping into Russian. Could be my conditioning. I don't want to go into it. Science can only ascertain what is, but not what should be. And the outside of its domain value, judgments of all kinds remain necessary. Who said that? Albert Einstein. And I had a backup one, but I'm not going to use that one. A couple quick announcements before we try the phones and or emails. The Jeffrey Grubb debate challenge is still in effect. Anybody that wants to debate Flat Earth from an academic standpoint, and by that I mean you got to have a master's degree in some sort of physical science or a debunking website or a television show, radio show, whatever it is. Uh, you know, let, let me know. What, you can just email me at msargent23 at comcast.net or you can call me at the phone number. The Flat Earth Rally on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls is going to be on Canada Day from noon to 4. You can email N as in Nancy, F as in Frank, F as in Frank, E as in Edward at gmail.com. That's N-F-F-E at gmail.com or Flat Earth Hamilton at gmail.com. The Big Money Challenge is still in effect and I don't even know what the pot's up to, $20,000, $25,000, something like that, you can contact Kathy Dunson. Her email address is paralandra. Oh, and I screwed that up. I gave that to somebody else. I said 73. I try to remember it now. I'll always remember it. P-E-R-E-L-A-N-D-R-A 77 at gmail.com. That's Kathy Dunson. 
Let's see here. We are hosting a conference which will feature Flat Earth. Oh, yes, yeah, another one. Rob Skiba will be doing the majority of the Flat Earth section. I was just checking to see if you'd be interested in promoting the Flat Earth portion. The website for this event, and I'll make that announcement a lot shorter for the next one, is takeontheworld17.com. Or you can just contact the guy that's that contacted me. His name's Chris Bailey. His phone number is 440-668-6373. That is 440-668-6373 if you want information on TakeOnTheWorld17.com, in where, which Rob Skiba will be attending and presenting. He'll be representing this on the flatter side of things. And last but not least, the Danoon Institute of Biblical Research is presenting its summer 2017 conference. The highlight of the conference is a live debate. Globe versus Flat Earth, presented with experts on both sides, respectfully moderated by Stephen and Jaina Ben Noon of Israeli News Live. The debaters will be Zen Garcia from the Flat Earth side and from the Globe side, Dr. Stephen Pigeon. I think it's spelled slightly different, though. I think it's P I D G E O N, if you guys want to look that up. And I believe that's going to be in Atlanta at the Holiday Inn Gwinnett Center. G W I N N E T T C E N T E R. So if you want to see, I think it's going to be uh, heavy Christian based, uh, you know, between those two, if Zen is going to be there and this other guy. But again, it's still going to be flat versus globe, and they're going to film the whole thing, which is great. So check that out if you get a chance. It's uh, and I don't have an email address. If you want any more information other than that, uh, just type in. I think you probably can look it up under the Danoon Institute of Biblical Research. Okay, what else? Anything else? Uh, remember, I'm going, giving up my free survival guide. So if you need, it, if you want a free survival guide, it's about two two megs. It's tiny. Not two gigs, two megs. You can email me at msergeant20. I already gave out the quote, peanut gallery. Well, yes, I already read it. I read that first thing. Why, why are you saying quote, peanut gallery? Do you want the, the Neil deGrasse Tyson quote? Is that what he's asking? Well, there's a kind of a delay on his side. Anyway, phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. That phone number again is 720-897-6111. And I think we can get the phone lines working. I know you guys have been frustrated the last week. I think we can get it working. Uh, it's going to take a, a little bit of finagling on my side, but I think I can pull this thing off. And one more thing from the peanut gallery. Oh, yeah. And uh, we may be talking to... Okay, well... We, that happens. Let's see if we can pick up a call. Ready? You are on live with Strange World right now. Can you hear me? 718 area code. 718, can you hear me? Let's try this. How about 210? 210, can you hear me? 210, you are on live with Strange World. Can you hear me? I'm having a devil of a time. Even now, I've got two calls that are lined up and they cannot hear me. The damn, let's try 203. <laughs> let's, just, let's just stack them up, see what happens. All right, how about 203? Can can anybody hear me? I've says I've got like three calls in the line. Who who can hear me? Can anyone actually respond where I can actually be piped through? Nope. Nope. They're just keep calling back and keep calling back. 718. Can you hear me? What's up, Mark? Oh, thank God. Okay, hey, talk close, closer to your phone. You hear me now? Better? I can. Excellent. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, good. Uh, fortunately, we had to sacrifice two phone calls to the the volcano god, but that's okay. I've got you and uh, two hundred three. I swear, I'll start. I'll start answering these in order. So no worries. We'll we'll get y'all. So um, what the what? I'm nice. sorry. Did I already ask you where you're calling from? New York. You didn't, but I'm calling from New York. Hey, what's uh, what's going on in New York? Not much. On my break, so I decided, hey, let me call you finally. Cool. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> any any right. anything anything on your mind? No, I just wanted to call in, say how you doing. I haven't spoke to you in a while. Keep doing oh. your thing. You know. Cool. Appreciate all the work you're doing. Well, thanks. Love the show. That's awesome. Hey, um, wait, did did you were you, when you called in before? Did you kind of tell us since I got you and and do you, uh, how'd you get into flat Earth? Well, what, what for, I was what watching for, your videos. Like when was it? 
almost two years ago, and I called you as soon as I watched it on YouTube. I was like, oh, hey, let me call you. You gave your phone number, so hey, why not? And called you the first time you picked up. I was surprised. Like, oh, wow. You're actually oh, real. you were so, one of the people. That was back when I answered the phone. Yeah, the, that was a while ago. Why, a while back. Yeah, so hey, let me give you a call back, and there you are. <laughs> now, you're not, now, you're, now you're doing big things. I like it. I like it. Well, I don't know about big things, but we're getting there. I mean, well, I mean, you've seen the news. I mean, it's oh, a yeah. lot of stuff has been happening. I mean, I, I'm kind of upset that Katy Perry pulled down her video right after she, men- <laughs> after she mentions Flat Earth. But did you see who went on her show, who went to her studio a day after she did that? No, I didn't. What was that? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh my God! There Spent an go. entire hour with her, and she shot the whole thing. It's like, oh, killing me, Neil. Yeah. I know. I know. I mean, so the question is, was that scheduled, or was that sort of impromptu, like the uh, when he went on Comedy Central last minute to shut, try to shut down Bob? I don't know. Nah, they're just trying to shut us down any way possible. They're just yeah. trying to get some kind of publicity and make us look bad. That's all it is. I agree. I agree. But no, so how's cool. uh how are you how are you and Patricia doing? You uh, guys are doing big things over there too. Amazing we are show. Doing fine. In fact, we're doing an episode tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. And I don't know what we're oh, we we got a few announcements that we're gonna I can't I can't give them out tonight. But but no there's callers on that show? Uh we don't know. We don't take callers on that show. It, we, it's it's we it's chat. It, she reads chat and she reads email, but no, we don't pipe in calls. And probably a probably a safe thing because I don't really get a lot of trolls. In fact, I I get very very few trolls when I'm doing this. But she nah, would know. get just, she would get some trolls like, if if she left the phone lines open. Unfortunately, uh, they're just wasting their time trolling man. There's no I agree. I agree. You know, attractive women. You know, they eh, they really it's good. tough. Yeah, what are you gonna do? They're just going out there. Yeah. I agree. Any uh, any but, shout uh, outs? Because I, oh, I've gotta, gotta, gotta start picking up people. Yeah, so I'm sorry for everybody that's waiting, but hey, I got first, so I like to. You know, <laughs> well, yeah, but first. two people had to die before you got in. So <laughs> no, I called in before as well, and I picked up. You picked me up, and I couldn't hear anything, so I tried oh, again, right, and right, finally right, right. I got. Oh, oh, so you were one of the guys that that got that died? Oh, okay. It looks like I made it out of the volcano. You did. I made it out. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. I was gonna give. Let me give a. Uh, let me give a shout out to uh, Mark. He's also from New York, right? Yeah. He calls you as well. What's up? Yeah. Give a shout out to him and say hello to Patricia for me and keep doing what you're doing, man. I love the work. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, man. Take it easy, man. Appreciate it. All right. Have a good one. You too. Take care. Okay. Two one zero. Did they make it in? Two one zero. Can you hear me? Mm-mm. Volcano God got two one zero. Let's try this one. How about two o three? Two o three. Two o three. Can you hear me? Two o three area code. Hmm. We're just gonna have to play Russian roulette here with the phone lines until we can figure this out. How about seven seven eight? Seven seven eight. Okay. Can anyone? Can anyone hear me as I'm speaking right now? On the phone lines right now. Let's try 210 again. I'm having a fun time with this. Uh, I can't even remember who I just picked up. 210, 778, 203. Yep, they're coming and going. I think I got somebody now, though. Okay, what? who did I just pick up? Mark, is that you? Yeah, who is this? Hey, Mark, CC here. Uh, NASA <laughs> Lies, New York. Now, outstanding. Wait, wait. Excellent. NASA, oh, NASA I, Lies, I, I can't believe okay. I got through. Well, okay, so is this 914? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 914, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I, NASA I, Lies. I, I, four, four people went to the phone volcano, God, getting you in here. <laughs> I, I have swear no I idea him. what I did. I hate Microsoft. I hate him. I hate him. So what's uh, and I I, 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 I swear did. two. I, hang on, quick shout out two one zero. I swear before the night is over, I totally will get you in. Here. And oh, I'll, just, I'll make it quick. Oh no, no worries. What's up? Oh, nothing, nothing. Quick. I've been driving around. I've been, well, you know, I've been driving around my uh, license plate around now for about a month. Yeah. And I've got some very unusual feedback on it. 
Really? Uh, tell me. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you. Um, <laughs> I got one woman that came up to me. Her last name was Sally. Sally's. You know, okay. and uh, <laughs> so there was no correlation with, with NASA lies at all. It was just Sally's. And she she just said, oh, yeah, wow, you have my last name on the back. And I was like, oh, oh, oh OK, whatever. Uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, are, are people in New York so asleep? Do they have to be shook? <laughs> oh, well, did you hear my theory? Actually, you know, because uh, Candy from North Carolina was the first one to get a NASA lies. Did you hear my theory on yeah, why yeah. that plate on on how that plate got through? Yeah, because, no, I know, I know, with the doctor and, and everything. Yeah, and the, the, nasal, the, the uh, nose you know, and throat yeah. doctor. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely. I can't believe it got through and nobody even you know flagged it or anything like that. I thought it was I know, pulled over by fifteen God. You can't get you can't get through negative things. I mean, the the rap industry really changed that, you know, it, mm -hmm. it, because you can't. You can, there's all sorts of rap slang that they didn't want, which is why you have to explain your license plate now. But I was I was amazed. Again, you can't do anything negative, but when you look at it, because you can't see the forest for the trees, the first five letters. No, are no, negative. exactly. Yeah, exactly. So. You're absolutely right. But good for you. That's I hope. Very, very I hope. nice talking to you. Oh yeah, cool. Any any, any shout outs? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I mean, I got my little channel there. It's crap, but you know. <laughs> dude, <laughs> small seriously. channel, very unprofessional, you know, it's C space C, you know, that's about it. C space C. Well, look, even look, I still make my videos with windows live movie maker. It's free and it's discontinued. Windows isn't even supported anymore. So really? Oh yeah. God. Yes. You know, because I, Windows 10, absolutely, I don't want to use, pardon my French, is absolutely horrible. <laughs> I mean, I, I downloaded the new program. It, it redid all my apps, and, you know, it's a freaking nightmare. You know, it really is. Uh, I, I yeah. should I should have kept Windows XP up there, but I'm, I'm old school. You know, what are you going to do? Oh, no, no, no. I, I absolutely hear you. And, yeah. Win, well, Windows 10, as a matter of fact, put in a brand new version of Skype, and I had to uninstall it because I... It, I couldn't use it for what I wanted it for, but it was, but I the suck thing do... about it was it was integrated. So even though I use task yeah. manager to kill it, it was never closed. <laughs> it never oh, closed it was built, built into the OS. I couldn't literally shut it down. Oh, you can't get it out of the operating system. That's nope. <laughs> no, it's built in. Oh man. It's embedded in there now. Forget yeah. it. I mean, yeah. Anyway. Oh man. All right. Well, right, so hey, uh, by the way, are you are you going to be are you thinking about coming to the conference? Oh, absolutely! I just got my uh, got my money from the government, so I'll be I'll be going definitely. Absolutely. Right on. All right. Cool. All right. Any, any anything else down there? Hey, well, no, I'm sure I'll talk that. to you before then. There's time. Oh yeah. Well, no, I hope hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I I can't wait. I can't wait to get down there. Yeah, it's gonna be it's Meet gonna be fun. Another, I, it's uh, flat Earth. Before I understand, there's going to be other things during during the summer. I just announced, you know, like two or three that are already gearing up, and and uh, and there's going to be one in London next uh, spring. They're already they're already booking for that. So, I just heard the guy in the seven one eight area code over there. Uh, he obviously he's been a flat earther for a while too. Oh yeah, That's great. Oh, no, there's so many. Ninety percent of the communities is clo are closet flat earthers, which I know does not sound like a good term because nothing closet ever is. <laughs> But no, it isn't. But, but it's true. Ninety percent of the community. You wait when this thing busts open. There's gonna be so many people. You say, "Oh, dude, I was totally into this." You know. Then you have to call them on. It's really how long ago? Oh, four years. Like BS. You were not. So. Yeah. No. No. I mean, you know. <laughs> come on. What are you gonna do? I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it's a whole overwhelming you know information that's coming out to people that just don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. You know, at this point, and uh, but but they are. You know. Yep, hopefully, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh no! I think that I think they are mainstream. Anyway, man, you have a good rest of your night, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely, Mark. I'll see you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, number to call in is seven two zero eight nine seven six one one one, and we are playing phone call roulette. Let's see who actually gets in, because I'm just hitting add, and let's see who can, I can actually get on the line. Two two six area code. Did you make it? Before I pick up the next one, two two six looks like he got sacrificed. Let's try. Doesn't mean you can't try again. By the way, two o three, two o three, two o three. Did you make it? 
203 area code. 203 did not make it. Let's try 778. This is super entertaining on my side. I'm just adding I'm just adding a barrage of people and seeing. I'm just listening for the mic to pick up. 778, did you make it? Oh, 778 got uh, sacrificed. Let's try 203 again. 203. How about you, baby? Did you make it? Nope. <laughs> 210. Again, let's try 210. I have no idea why this is happening. 210. Can, can you hear me? Nope. 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 778. Let's try that one again. We're just going to have the same people just keep rotating in. Well, could be a phone number issue. Maybe maybe it's a, they're having a problem from whatever location. 203, 203. I'm just going to keep handing this thing as fast as I can. 203 area code. Can you hear me? 203. Nope. Peanut Gallery says, Doe, you said roulette, which is unfortunate. Because, yes, I'm not supposed to say roulette table. Because if you add up all the numbers on a roulette table, they literally add up to 666. Couldn't make that up if I tried. 718, let's try that one again. 718. And they're not coming in. 718. 203. Uh, the peanut gallery says from chat. Jeff Adams. Hey, Mark, I was one of your first few subs and have seen everything you put out there. Thanks for that. So I noticed the main DJs. All the Mason DJs on TFR. Chris, uh, why would you think they're Mason? That'd be the first. Oh, I got somebody. Who did I just get? Who did I just pick up? Uh, two hey, and oh. Seven seven eight. Are you there? No, it was two and oh. Two and oh. Wait, did I already talk to two and oh? No, you just got in, no. right? No, no, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't actually. I've mean, been trying. I've been trying to connect. It just Fantastic. Two one oh. Where are you from? It's San Antonio. Right on, man. What's uh, w- what's going on tonight? How how'd you get into Flat Earth? Have you talked to me before? <laughs> no, I haven't. This is actually the first time I ever talked to anybody about Flat Earth. Oh, uh, right on. As far as YouTube, man. How how'd you get uh, into it? Well, it's actually uh, it was actually um, I got into trying to debunk it actually. Uh, um, that, actually that's one of the T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was. My my mom actually got me into it. I was uh. I was actually getting going and going to different, you know, about truth, about uh, about religion and things like that, and, and then and then my mom introduced me to that, and I was like, no, no, the Bible doesn't say that. The Bible, I mean, the Bible says it's round. The Bible says, I, I was I was one of those, and then and then I checked, <laughs> and and then it turned out that it wasn't. Yeah. It was actually, yeah. yeah it, it actually points to being flat. You know, it's it's it's, it's, it's crazy. I didn't think uh, I didn't think I was actually going to believe it. But once I believed it, that completely that completely changed my perspective on a lot of things. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. Do you um now if you're a big Christian believer, have you checked out any of the other the the strong Christian channels like Rob Skiba or Zen Garcia or Celebrate well, Truth? Or, I'm sorry. Well, I, I mean, I, I used to I used to well that's that's, uh, that's another thing I was against. I yeah I used to I used to I used to be into the the, the Christian scene and yeah I went and and and, and saw some of the some of the rock ski stuff and it's pretty interesting interesting stuff but uh uh it's just just the the, the deeper i search that the 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 more uh the more the more troubling reality it really seems um but but yeah but like as far as like the flat earth like um you know how they have the how you have the the state of matter right yep the whole concept of the state of matter right well yep. actually according to scripture um, well, let me ask you. Let me start with the first question. With the question, where in scripture do you remember God saying create water? Good point. Well, if it was anywhere, it'd be in Genesis. If it was, yeah, if well, it was it, anywhere, but yeah. I think he just it was it was always mentioned the waters were there. I don't remember anything about how yeah, the waters it, were just. It was be, yeah, it wasn't to be. Yeah, you didn't really mention it. It's like almost like they were always there. But see that that's that's the thing. And if you look, at, if you keep looking in scripture. There's a there's one there's one particular in Second Peter that mentions about the 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 the, the world being being made out of water, mm-hmm. and and actually and if you look at a reality really, um, it's not really a state of matter. Matter is really just a state of fluid. It's actually a state of fluid that we live in. Uh, Good for point. example, yeah. For example, if you look at a fish, um, how can a fish ever know what the what it means to be wet? 
it, uh-huh. it, it never would. It's always been wet. Like so, that. So, yeah. So in other words, how how do we how do we even know what dry really is? What mm. if, you know, like you know, when you're inside a pool underwater and you push you push underneath uh, with your hand, like you just if you swing real fast, you feel the waves underneath, right? Right. It, it, it reacts the same way. It's kind of like air, right? Right. But it, we, we think we think of it backwards. Uh, air is really a superfluid gas. Right. And it again moves into layers. If you if you kind of look, if you remember in uh, in school projects, you have a uh, you, you know how you mix oils with water and yep it yep 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 yep. Okay. Well, think of our of our enclosure being like that. Just different yep. layers of fluid. The middle like part that. is a, a super fluid a uh, super fluid gas, and the and the up, up, up above the darkness, where you know that you see is really just a super a super fluid, uh, like hydrogen or something, and and it's you know if, and that kind of explains why astronauts had uh, water leaked inside. You know people think oh it's a, it's in a they're in a they're in a pool. Oh yeah, they're in the fluid what itself. Is, yeah, I've I've heard yeah, that one. But yeah. what if it is? Yeah, but what if it is? <laughs> what if yeah, it is? no, what, what it's if, very very possible. Itself? And and if you look and if you look at that too, that kind of explains how the sun and the moon would stay up there because in a super fluid. Motion always continues forever. There's nothing stopping it. Right. See what I mean? Yeah, I like so it. Anyway, Just so yeah, you know, we so got about little... 60 seconds to the break, so oh, sure, sure, sure. Move, move quick. Oh, yeah, no. So basically, what we're, what we're in, we're basically in a large, infinite vast of, of, of water at the very, very bottom of the abyss where it's all dark. That's the end, like, like in scripture. So that's why when you look up at night, everything's dark when the when, uh, when they send up uh, up of uh, uh, the uh, the high weather balloons, those those weather balloons, you know, everything looks black because we're in the abyss. That's why, so there's no light coming through yet. Interesting. I like it, man. I like it. Oh, hey, we are we are going to break right now, man. So I will talk to you next time. And uh, everybody else, try. Thank, thank you very much for calling in. Everybody else, do try to call during the break because I'm going to pick it up so I don't have to deal with this roulette stuff at the, at the other side of the break. So I will take calls during the break. 720-897. We are TFR. My faith in destiny is all I need to prevail. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, and we do have a caller on the line. But before we pick him up, so don't say anything. Be real quiet. Uh, I have okay. to mention real quick, and then he says, okay. <laughs> That's classic. Uh, Patricia Steer wanted me to mention. Can you mention Saturday, July 22nd, the Leamington Spa in England, UK? Very posh, I'm sure. An afternoon meetup. In the park, contact Patricia Steer, Nathan Oakley, or Martin Leitke for details. No admission charge. Bring a picnic. Uh, bring a picnic basket. Bring a picnic lunch. Bring a brunch. I don't know. Bring some cucumber sandwiches and scones. Whatever. We'll figure that out later. All right. I am on the phone with uh, seven, ooh, 778 area code. Is that right? Hey man, Daryl here. Oh, it's Daryl. Hey Daryl, I don't have your area code me- uh, memorized. You should have said well, that as soon as, soon, as, as, soon as I pick you. As soon as I pick up, you should say, "Mark, it's Daryl from Canada." <laughs> but yeah, but Canada, it's like it's like you saying you're from the U.S. It's like you could be from New York or Seattle. <laughs> well, good point. There's <laughs> like a huge and... difference between someone who'd be calling you from Toronto. Yeah, <laughs> well, although I think I could probably pick up the Toronto accent, maybe. Well, we'll see. What's, oh, definitely, uh, what's... yeah, because I'll use words like dude and stuff. Dude, and and, and yeah, use, use terms like ketchup-flavored and pickled-flavored potato chips and 
<laughs> and things yeah, that exactly. I never ever knew about, like pierogies, never even knew that was a thing. And apparently, pierogies? that is like, yeah, pierogies. It's not a thing down here. Isn't so that Ukrainian? Well, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. It's not from Canada originally. Nothing's from Canada originally. <laughs> even hockey pucks and cheese wheels and whatever. I think the only things you guys have there, they're native, are moose and maple leaves. That's basically it. Uh, and I'm yeah, not, I'm not I, I don't. I don't even. I have no clue. <laughs> but per, but pierogies for Americans, they're dumplings, and we usually only get them at a Chinese restaurant. So oh. but up there, you guys have like pierogi making parties, which is just, yeah. Is just I bizarre. love pierogies. I my mom I understand this. I walked by aisles things in the store for a big. There's a whole pierogi <laughs> section in the frozen food aisle of of your stores. I know this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's true. They come frozen. Um, <laughs> once in a while, if you can find a nice girl that, or I don't know, guy. If you're a girl, I'm not trying to make it a gender uh, thing. Hey, I don't know. But, uh, but, children, but like I'm a fresh judging. pierogi is really good. <laughs> fresh pierogies are good. Stuff them with potato. <laughs> you, can, you can have them v- uh, vegetable, vegan, ve- vegetarian, or meat. But uh, yeah, anyway, totally. So, yeah. but, I, I, <laughs> uh, but um, I had pro- a whole bunch of shit to say, but then you picked no, up no, like no. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll, running I'll around. You, I'll give you a few extra minutes. What do you got? What do you got? Throw it at me. Well, okay. Um, God, <laughs> gotta say Did something. You now. <laughs> <laughs> so there, I have so much to say. It's like, <sighs> well, okay. Anyway, that CBS thing you put up like about four days ago or whatever. The CBS um, of Infinite Plain Society putting up those billboards. Oh, right, right, right. The uh, the news story that was the CBS... so awesome. Yeah, that CBS was Philadelphia, that was rad. So. Like, um, and I don't know what happened with like Flat Earth Asshole's trip. He apparently he met up with that guy or whatever. Or something oh, like with that. Matt. Yeah, it. it um, look, but, like, so okay, I don't there's... care about that. But like, I know. Um, I know. but like, Flat Earth Asshole also. Since the last time I talked to you, I know this is old news, but I haven't called on a Tuesday in a while. But, like, come on, everybody out there, like, taking down Joe Rogan and, you know, big, tough guy, bald head Joe Rogan can't, he doesn't even respond. And that's not because he doesn't need them. Like, that guy's got an ego the size of your biggest state down there, you know, like he, <laughs> he, Mick, Mick West and Joe Rogan got shut down by right. Jake Gibson. And I just want to make sure everyone had seen that. Cause like, it's like awesome. Oh, yeah. he, he no, Jake's like got a lot, of, four a lot hours. of passion. Love, love Jake's passion. <laughs> He's great. I, in fact, totally. uh, the, the Obama song that he did called, we don't have time for a meeting in the flat earth society. I guess outstanding track. Because, you know, you know, by the way, we're thinking of running a 24-7 Flat Earth music channel. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, I know that, like, 24-7 live thing is pretty recent, too. Like, ODD is doing it. Yep. Um, Infinite yep. Planes now doing it. It yeah. seems well, that, like that's, they're that's always live. Doing. He's going to be the one that's going to do the music channel, and, and good for him. Uh, yeah, and all these things are happening so fast. We're just halfway through the year now, and we're we're already at a, a, a breakneck speed, which is fantastic. It's not, yeah. And you saw that you great. saw that like, Katy Perry thing. Well, no, it got taken like the thing. Oh, I know, I know. Like, yeah, this I got morning? hit. I got hit twice. Every time somebody puts up a, a Katy, the Katy Perry saying the flat Earth thing, mentioning it. And by the way, I've got to take a little offense. That is not clickbait. I was accused of it. I was like, oh, no, it's clickbait. It's like, come on. It's Katy Perry. If she says your company <laughs> logo or whatever it is, if she's, even if she says it in passing, it counts. All right? Totally, yeah. It's like, who it's like look, Taylor Swift all of a sudden you know, was just reading through a chat like, it's, oh, here's something interesting. It's Flat Earth. I, just, I totally put that up th- six different ways from Sunday. So yeah. and and Katy Perry Productions knocked. They've been blocking it now. They're not doing copyright <laughs> strikes, but they block it as fast as it, well, almost as fast as they can go up. They still haven't gotten them all though. There's still you know we're we're putting up pretty quick, but I've already gotten knocked twice. Other people have gotten knocked like four or five times. So, but the funny thing is, it's not even like a 
it's not even they're worried about her public relations. It's just monetary to them. It's like, oh, God, well, I, I don't her. I got to shut her down. I don't think so because one, the, the recording was second generation. It was a cell phone taking a picture of the of the computer and she already pulled down the stream. She had pulled down the video. So it's not like we were, you know, so so it it would have been better if she had left it up, to be honest. You always look more guilty if you run away. (laughs) Always look more guilty if you run away. So she should have left it up. I could say I'm Buffalo Bill and no one would care unless they were losing money. (laughs) But, you know, it's just money is money is the hugest problem. But as you've said, and that's why I don't even watch anything else or. I don't even care that I'm going to see David Icke in September for 10 hours now because oh, right. Stone conspiracy money can't touch. Yeah, it's the one like conspiracy, the money. conspiracy that money doesn't, yeah, it's not yeah. even a part of it. It's like there's something bigger going on. Exactly. Not, and, only, is, not only is Flat Earth the fear killer, it is bigger than money. It's only one of two conspiracies I know, and the other one was discussed recently in a movie called The Discovery. With Robert Redford, which is it's the only oh, thing I, I know, that, yeah. which is what happens when you die. <laughs> That's the only thing bigger <laughs> than flat Earth I know of. Uh, you know, and it's and again, it's it's tied to just a higher level of it. You know, because well, we kind of if you're into flat Earth, you kind of want to know that too. But it's, yeah, it's understood. Yeah. yeah. Any uh, anything else you want to talk about? Uh no, just hello to yourself. I haven't talked to you in a while. A little uh, bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had phone conference. The what? Um, oh, yeah, the conference. conference. Gonna, it's getting conference pretty close. Conference <laughs> well, it's not is gonna, getting close. Well, no, not but, yet. Um, but it's okay. I mean, it's just going to get more and more intense. In fact, uh, Patricia and I are going to make a pretty cool announcement about it tomorrow during her show. So, and I, oh, I can, by I can, the way, hello to you, Patricia. I know you're going to hear this. Uh, <laughs> uh, and also, New York, Mark, yourself, and everyone else. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to keep too long. I just uh, wanted to say hello, and right. I'm trying to organize like a um, what do they call that? Like the a carpool, the, a grunt, a grunt drunk fest at the bar oh, in the nice. hotel. So me and Zulu are going to do it. That's our plan anyway. But um, I am going to try not to drink so much because <laughs> remember, I'm doing. The problem is, I've got events both days. So I've got an event. I'm doing a keynote speech on after lunch on the first yeah, day. Yeah, no, no one cares about my behavior as long as I don't yell. Well, no, but I mean, <laughs> if I'm hanging out with you, I might have I'm I might get into some trouble because everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, Mark, let me buy you a drink." And then ten drinks later, I you know I wake up, Mark, you got a you got a speech you got to give. It's like, ah, ah, stop talking so loudly. So we'll see. We'll <laughs> no, I'm um, I'm going to every talk so. Um, all right on. You see a lot of me anyway. Cool. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll just let you go. All right. And hello to everybody listening, and take care. Have a I good guess. one, and uh, have some ketchup flavored potato chips for me. I'll have some ketchup dill pickle chips, and I'll mash them all up together. And don't don't forget the uh, fully dressed chips. Fully dressed. <laughs> you should move up here, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was the up chip. there. <laughs> But but anyway, okay, I got to pick up another call, but uh, you have a good rest of your night, okay? Yeah, okay, good night to you. All right, see you, man. See you, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I tried to pick up 845, and I don't know if it took. 845, can you hear me? If not, you have been sacrificed to the phone volcano god, and I'll have to go to somebody else temporarily. Let's try 215, and while we're doing that, because I can always hear when the mic picks up, and this thing is so iffy. And I don't think 215 made it either. So we're just going to keep on going. Let's try. Nope. Let's try that one. That one's not going to work. Let's hang up on that guy because that was my test phone. 215. 215 can hear me, but I can't hear him, which is unfortunate. Let's try 845 one more time. 845. Picking up 845. We're playing uh, free. Um, I can't say roulette table. Well, actually, I can. As long as I don't say table, I can say roulette, I think. 845, can't hear you. You just get sacrificed to the the phone god. Let's try 215 again. I know these guys keep bouncing back and forth. 215, 215, 215. Nope. 215, can you hear me? Nope. (laughs) 
I probably should read an email while I'm trying to do this. See if I can get, if I can do both simultaneously, okay? And by the way, the this will kind of give you a, a good example of how I get tips from people. And you guys keep do keep trying to call if you want. 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. And I will do what I can to get my machine to pick up. Let's try this one more time. Let's see if we can get 845. 845. Did you hear me? Anybody? 845? No, no. Nope, nope, nope. 845 is not there. That's okay. And 360 is also trying to come in. 360. I can always hear a pop when they come in. And I don't know for whatever reason. In fact, hang on here. They need to give shout out to the peanut gallery in order to get the phones to work. What? We just can't sacrifice them to the phone volcano god? That's not good enough? Okay, so many calls and yet picking them up is like a minefield. Well, while I'm waiting. And, you know, I'm just going to keep hitting add to group. And then if you guys hear me talking, then you can um, just interrupt me as I'm reading an email. So if you hear me talking, just say, hey, it's me. I hear you. So, hey, Mark, I recently found the Cheers sitcom on Netflix season one, episode one, around the 10 minute mark. Coach says he was the very best, as sure as the earth is round. Sam then says, you don't believe that, Coach. And then Coach says, you know, I never used to believe it, Sam, until I saw those pictures from the space shuttle. Of course, everything was said in a joking, chortle inspiring manner. It's worth a listen and look. If it's of interest, maybe you can grab the audio clip or something. Best regards, Jeremy from Knoxville, Tennessee. And that's a perfect example of how I get tips from people. They just say, oh, yeah. And then I downloaded, you know, I, I ripped that video and watched it at the mark. You know, if you're going to send me a clip, make sure you tell me where because I don't want to go through an hour episode and I have to guess. And then I, I chopped it up. I reverse horizontal mirrored it and then put it up on the channel. And, yeah, it's copyrighted, but it's not blocked. Which is which is great, and let me look on here. It says that I'm still connected to three six zero, but again, if you can't hear me talking, no, I'm sorry. If I can't hear you, if you're talking and I can't hear you, that means you've been sacrificed to the phone god, and you're gonna have to hang up and call again, unfortunately. So three six zero, you gotta go. In fact, maybe I'll hang up for him sometimes while we're waiting. And we still got a little time to the break. So while we're waiting for this next call to punch its way through, let's try 360 again. 360, can you hear me? 360. 360. Nope, nope, nope. 360. 360, anybody? 360. Oh, hey, that worked. We're in mute. Let's try somebody now. 360. 360, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect. I, you- I, think, I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep my cell phone connected as another caller, and I'm going to keep it muted. Let's see, that's me doing some clever problem solving. As long as you can hear me and I can hear you, we're all good. Where are you calling from? Uh, Longview, Washington. It's Flat Fred. Right on, Flat Fred. Did I ever tell you that my uncle coached football down at Longview Kelso back in the day? Yes, he did. And uh, I wanted to comment on that one one caller before talking about the pierogies. Yeah. If you go to Pittsburgh uh, and you're there for like a Friday, go to the Catholic churches. They usually cook up a bunch of them, and they are awesome. <laughs> I've lived in Pittsburgh of my life. I moved up here about 11 years ago. Nice. And, yeah, uh, I figured there'd be some regional places in the United States that would have it. You know, like like the South has a certain type of cooking, and Minnesota and Wisconsin have a certain type, and the Northeast. So that's that's awesome. That's great. Right. Um, has anyone tried to get you back on that Dubai radio station for a full interview? Uh, no, no. And we've been reaching out to them. We've had other people that have reached out to that Dubai radio station. And... <laughs> And thank you for mentioning that because that was one of my more entertaining ones because I literally did it 10 minutes before uh, this show airs. And so they grab me and they go, look, we don't get you now, you know, because there's so much of a time difference. You're not going to get on. I'm going, okay, let's do it now, 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 now. And I did the whole thing in seven minutes. 
and I just cranked it out as fast as I could. But yeah, I would have loved to have talked to him more. And what's interesting is I got a heads up because the guy there was one of one of the listeners of this show actually was the guy he was talking about that do, did weights with him because that guy likes working out at the gym, and he was the guy that mentioned my name. Right. So that that's okay. how they tracked it down. I'm hoping I get to though. Also, I wanted to ask you, what serial boxes are those 4K cameras in? I almost got kicked out of the store for uh, digging my arms through a couple of boxes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Nice. <laughs> well, we should. Oh, seriously. One, we should have. We should have Nikon sponsoring uh, the conference in North Carolina because we're buying so many yeah, of those, yeah. those damn cameras. And two, the. Uh, uh, well, they should at least have a table there, they, they, because yeah, and yeah. it's because I don't know anyone they else that's buying them as much as we are. I mean, for five hundred, six hundred bucks, you get an eighty-three power power zoom. You go to the beach and then you shoot something long distance, and it's super easy. And there it is, seeing something exactly. on the other side of the. Also, I wanted to uh, comment on that uh, FEA versus Joe and Mick. Yeah, Mick actually proved flat earth with that one little video he put up like Venus in the night sky that he took himself. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because according to the solar system model, that isn't possible. I, which, I've which, gone over that. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, cause I, I've gone over the, the model myself and there is no way you can get anywhere past dawn or dusk from the sun side to get that dark of a sky and still see uh, Mercury or Venus. Yeah. So Good point. He, he proved it himself and he doesn't realize it. Yeah. Yeah. Mick West is, uh, he's not going to, he's not going to shoot it down. Nobody's going to shoot this down. It's, I don't care who you drag, dig up at this point. You could dig up the, a guy that's got been published 20 times over who's got a PhD in astrophysics. They are not going to shoot this thing down. Flat Earth is a werewolf with, without a silver bullet. It is the <laughs> horror, it's, it's the horror movie that science n- never ends for science. You know, it's just four, it's like a five hour movie. Werewolf just tearing up the countryside and nobody has a silver bullet and, and they don't know what to do. So, yeah, yeah, I, Joe Rogan keep talking about it all he wants. I'm, I, I kind of hope that we get some sort of celebrity cameo at the conference, to be honest. I hope they send Bill Nye down there like they did when they sent him to the Christian Dinosaur Museum. Or Joe Rogan sends, I mean, seriously, Conan should send a team. Jimmy Kimball should send somebody. Because they think there's going to be a lot of tinfoil hat people down there. So, hope they do. Well, I look at it this way. The news media will probably have a field day, and that'll just bring more people to us. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Be, boy, boy, they're going to be searching, and I know there's going to be some kooks out there. Not not flat earthers, but there's going to be people trying to pretend to be flat earthers. Uh, but right. they're not going to – that's only going to go so far. But then the media is going to gravitate to the shiniest people there. So, like Candy with her pink hair. I, I, I may ask her to like try to to change it because they're absolutely going to talk to her. It's like, oh yeah, talk to the girl with the pink hair. Oh yeah, because they're going to they're going to think she's one of the uh, yep more out there yep. people. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, she looks crazy. Yeah, you basically you're going to find someone that that looks relatively crazy, and that's who you're going to try to talk to first, unless they try to grab one of the speakers. You know, they, you never know. They could grab uh, so it's like okay, who's on? If they come in when we get them their press passes, we'll give them. It's like okay, here are the speakers, and then make sure the speakers are available. And every I every one on the speaker list is perfectly fine, as far as I can tell. I mean, I can't necessarily speak for myself. I've only been institutionalized like five or six times. So that's why anyway. it helps to be insane. Yeah. Because when you're, <laughs> they lock you up, when they're, when you're insane, they just look at you funny. I know I've gotten plenty of funny looks. <laughs> nice. Or uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this. There's this um, bumper sticker, which I've, I'm fond of. And that is, uh, uh, roses are red, violets are blue. I'm a schizophrenic. And so am I. Exactly. Yeah. Any any shout outs you want to give before I try to get back into the phone roulette? Well, just everybody that's listening and everybody in the community, 
Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be having a T-shirt made up pretty soon. Nice. What is it? It's going to say on top, keeping it real. It's going to have an AE map in the middle. And on the bottom, it's going to say keeping it flat. Nice. That's really good. Uh, One of the ones I saw recently, it's not a T-shirt yet, but I know someone in that long lines of uh, flat earthers are on the level. Exactly. All right, man. Well, hey, you have a good rest of your night. Thank, thank you. Thank you for calling in. And uh, any parting shots as you get out of here? No, just remember to have fun and torment everyone. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's great. <laughs> have a good one. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. That phone number is 720 720-897- Six one one one, and I'll take one more call before the halfway point. Could it be this guy right here? Let's try him, shall we? So I grab two one five, and two one five shows up at the bottom of the screen. And can two one five hear me? No. Let's try eight four five at the bottom of the screen. Eight four five. No. Eight four five. Can I hear me? It is. It's like roulette. Every time I think I've got it, I don't got it. It's amazing. Because, like, I've, it says I'm I'm actually connected on this one, but that's my number. That's my test call. So let's try 215 again. 215, can you hear me? I'm not singing because I'm not a good singer. Nope, 215. So I'm going to hang up from this line right here. I'll just keep trying it. I don't know rhyme or reason yet. We did some testing before the show, and we still don't have anything yet, but we're going to keep trying. And in the meantime, let's try this one. Let's try 514. 514, can you hear me? Not yet, he can't. Let's see if anybody else is getting through. I suppose I could read an email while I'm waiting for this. This one's called, Have You Seen These Loose Ends? Mark, I've been on board with Flat Earth for about two months. Read and watched everything I could find. Could of could of loose ends pop couple? I know, spell check, right? Do the same thing. A couple of loose ends popped up today. One is the attached link. The other is an observatory in Texas that claims they routinely receive laser feedback from something like one of the Apollo missions left behind. I wish I was a little more tech savvy and had a better investigative skill set, but I don't. If this is something you or someone else can check into, it might be beneficial to clear up. Thanks for all your work and efforts to help explode the ball earth system. Thanks. Dick Sexton, former U.S. Marine, native Texan, flat earth Christian. Wow, that's a good title. I don't suppose anyone on that phone line can hear me right now, can they? Nope, not yet, but soon. I know we'll get them, I know, but of course we're coming. You know what? I'm going to take calls through the break as well, just so we can punch somebody up for the next thing. Okay, guys? So I will take calls during the break. So if you hear a commercial, call me. I will keep listening, and we will see if we can queue you up because I've got about one minute to the break. Let's try this one. 816. 816, 816, 816. Can you hear me? Not yet, they can't. Let's try this one. How about this guy? 303. 303. Nope. Not yet. But that's okay. We will eventually figure this out. I don't know when. 816 couldn't make it. 303 couldn't make it. And we're going to break here in about 30 seconds. So bear with me, guys. This is called Funny NASA Memes for you to share. Please check them out. Oh, we're going to break at the moment. So anyway, guys, call in during the break, and I will queue up the next one for right after the break, okay? Give me a call. 720-897-6111. Truth Frequency Radio. The wicked ones obviously under heavy, heavy Masonic <laughs> influence. <laughs> Major Tom, they 
Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four. And we are playing phone roulette tonight because I have no idea how the phones work. <laughs> I just, I'm just hitting buttons. Just hitting the buttons and people are being sacrificed to the volcano god. And what happens is, just so you guys know, is that the phone calls come to me. I pick them up. You could probably hear me, but I can't hear you, and then I have to knock you off. So, like, 816, for example, they've been calling all night. 816, I promise I will get to you, and I also get to 718, who has called about 335 times. So, I have 845 in the line, and you know what that means. I should have, like, hey, sound effects. Hey, Mark from New York. <laughs> hey, man. Otherwise known as Zulu uh, One on YouTube. What's going on, man? Sir, how are you? I'll, I'll, I'm doing well. I'll give you some extra time because, well, you know, we haven't, we didn't talk right. last week because last week, no, we did talk last week. You were one of the few people like, because we actually just forced yeah, it in through did. Skype. That was the call out show. That was the call out show <laughs> where I actually was, was dialing awesome. out. I know. I'm sitting here like good. speed dialing. I actually had to create a speed dial for the show on my cell phone and I hate cell phones. So I'm here with, with my right hand just hitting speed dial just to see if I can force other calls into this. But so. What uh, I, I should talk, we should talk briefly about what happened this last hey, week. Hey, before I forget, I just want to say, hey, up north and uh, 718 914, New York NASA lies. Holy cow, that's awesome! I know I can't there's all these New Yorkers. We, we, we got to totally meet up. I mean, I uh, unbelievable, unbelievable, right? It's awesome, it's awesome. Um, and, and to everybody else, Candy Flip, you know, all the course. regulars. Um, Peanut Gallery says, here's some fun trivia. The Flat Earth is the second album by Thomas Dolby. It was released in February 1984, peaking at number 14 in the UK album chart. And if you don't know who he is, smack yourself. Well, I know he is. I'm an 80s child. See if he knows who Thomas Dolby is. Well, you're going to know who Thomas yeah. Dolby is. No, Blinded Me With yeah. Science was a was a top top hit. Oh, an international call trying to call in. 61 country code. Uh, can't pick you up right now. Sorry, 61. Uh, oh man, too bad. Yeah. That's try right. Again, again. That'll be cool. Yeah, uh, I know. And now, I'm, well, honestly, I'm just clicking numbers, and I don't even know who actually gets picked up until I hear this little pop. That little pop sounds. So yeah, like six one is trying to call in right now again. It's like, hey, I, I can't, I can't grab yeah, it because I got you. What's I'm um? I got through on the phone roulette. <laughs> well, everybody gets through eventually. It's just a statistic. So I just clicking as fast as I can. This is where my gaming skills come in handy. <laughs> I just started. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like whack a mole, only with add to group call. Just pat, 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 pat. What um, what caught your eye this week? Anything notable in flat Earth? Um, well, the billboard was amazing. Wasn't that cool? If you guys haven't no, checked it out, I, the billboard I, that went outside the Philadelphia totally airport that was way cool. Yeah, I have friends that live down there, and they're they're mad at me. They're like, "What is wrong with you people?" And this and that. I'm like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> it's just, it's, I'm sorry, but you know. People want to talk about it. Sorry. Oh, and it's brilliant. The letter, it just says Research Flat Earth in 1986. Yeah, a, they Live movie text. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's great. I, I mean, to I where you... Should, go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, I was going to say, I think they should put a phone number to like a recorded message, a couple little facts, and say, hey, go research this. These, these That's are some good. of the questions we have. You know, That's actually I, pretty I good. That'd be a good idea. That's not bad. Or split the time. So if research flat earth is supposed to be up there for set for 10 seconds, do research flat earth for like five seconds followed by flat earth and then blow it a phone number. Yeah. Or research. So you're not pushing flat earth or, or something like, or do something fun like flat earth change lanes now. 
and, yeah. see, and, and see, if you, see if you can get, you know, because an accident would yeah, slow down I, traffic and then you get significantly I, more. Uh, I can't more. get over how much traffic actually goes by there. They, my friend's a cop down there, too. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I go down there all the time. There's a million, millions of people, millions of people. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's it's a great idea. I'm glad that IPS but they're is... they're mad at me. <laughs> well, IPS is a That's real it. forward thinker, and I know pe- he's catching a lot of heat right now, but uh, you find yeah. me a, a find, you find me a better tactical commander at the moment. You know? Yeah, find I'm me fine. someone that can, that can get people to, you know, again, the idle hands. He's basically the solution to the idle hands problem that we've had for months. And that is fine. If we don't have science to beat up on, we'll take the fight to them. Here's, here's what you do: some simple little things. You know, it's basically harassments. And I know that sounds Actually, that sounds negative, but it's not. I have a quote for you for that. Oh, okay, what do you got? You must you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Hmm. And that was like Mahatma it. Gandhi. And yet, the peanut gallery does not have a response. I don't know. I don't know what happens because he's been, you know, oh, Thomas Dolby. Who's Thomas Dolby? Seriously, Blinded Me with Science was like one of the. In fact, you know what? I'm going to grab the 12 inch remix of Blinded Me with Science. I'm going to use that as one of the and songs for the conference he, trailer. Uh, he's a, isn't he number one at the Flat Earth Society website? Dolby? Thomas Dolby, yes, he is. He? Yeah, yeah, he was right. the first one. That was the one I signed up for. Back when I didn't know any right. different, because I literally, when I was doing this, there were so few people doing I it. I to get a card. <laughs> I know. I've got a laminated card and a little flat earth, little plastic flat earth globey thingy and a coin. I think I gave the flat earth coin to uh, Mel. But anyway, the rest of the stuff. But again, they're, and they're back in it. Not... Not that we need to, not that anyone has to join the Flat Earth Society, which is so great. No, 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 no. no. I mean, it's the community's so loose and fantastic right now. It's like, fine. I mean, I still stick to my original guns, which is, look, I went there and was just amazed that there were trolls at the door saying it's not serious, nothing, nothing to see here. Go away. What? Seriously, trolls, if you want to troll, you could spend all day torturing makeup girls. All day long, yeah. you do that. You all, it's like, I'm going to make four makeup girls cry today. Oh, you're putting on lipstick? Right. Cry. You know, just right. torture them. That's you all you do. kill you yourself because you used red. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you could do some whole, I mean, you could, YouTube is a troll, all you can eat buffet. And, yeah. but you got, but the, the flat earth uh, community, the flat earth topic is so polarizing. They can't help themselves. They cannot help but to come at us. So, mm. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely. What, yeah, anything that else good. that I may have we, missed? Um, site, site for the um, conference. For the conference. Absolutely. There's going to be one in there. They already announced the one in Great Britain. Yeah, the UK. Uh, yeah, the UK. Yeah. Rumor has it. I am yeah. going to be, be attending. Nice. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's a quote. Here's here's the quote from Peanut Gallery. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. And that was said by Aristotle. See, and that is, oh man, that is just absolutely the truth because the cognitive, cognitive, uh, cognitive dissonance, di- yeah. decadence, <laughs> decadence, <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I do like that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that By the way, kicks were, in and, were you a follower of Trailer Park Boys before I released that thing? Absolutely, dude. I watched every episode. I am I embarrassed to say I, that. I, I never can't believe I missed that. I never heard of them uh, until no. until yeah, they, somebody. They, dude, they got like eleven seasons. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Yeah. What have I been yeah. doing for the last it, eleven years? It, it, it's all, it's it's slapstick. You know, modernized trailer park trash, but it's yeah. slapstick comedy. You know, they make jokes like the guy, the one who was who was hitting the mark with all the flat earth information. Right. He plays the idiot. He's like yep. the moron of the show. I mean, like completely mor- moronic. Can't. Yeah. He, he's just, you know. And it was dumb. a long clip. Get, yeah. I was so they impressed. talked. I, I mean, was, they went over it and you could tell they were not going to beat it up. And you know, they looked at it. For real 
Yeah, they did. They, you, had they had all the points yeah. down. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. They, and, and and even where yeah, at the I, end, uh, where they said, so we're just going to leave it at flat Earth. You know, kind of like that's how the argument's going to end. Flat Earth is that's that's the consensus. I'm like, all right, so yeah, and you know, and it just seems to me just like maybe maybe they were pretty maybe they were open minded. Yeah, you know the because they didn't come across like their body language, their the way you know they're of course they're comedians and they're actors, but. It just seemed like they might actually have uh, looked yeah. into it and be considering it <laughs> again. It closet, cool. closet flat earthers. There's a so yeah. many of them. peanut gallery says trailer park boys are watching your videos. You can tell. Yeah, maybe. Very yeah, possible. That's very I mean, possible. I, I, I luckily I can pick up my dialogue when you know I've I've heard my stuff enough that when right. people say stuff, yeah, little quotes here and there. Going, okay, I see what's going on. You you watched it, but you're still not in. You know, it's like, oh yeah, it's it's again, it's that cool secret you talk about. It's that cool thing. It's like, oh, do it. all you're doing is waiting for somebody to bring something like JFK, any conspiracy, whatever it is, fluoride in the water, and then all of a sudden you just whip it out like this super unbelievable restricted drug that's been in your jacket pocket the entire time. It's like, dude, no, no, yeah. no. you want something cool? You gotta try this flat Earth, man. Just, no, seriously. No, 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 don't show anybody. No, 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 no. Just, just keep it down. Hey, no, man. the first time's free. This is free. Yeah, yeah, the is free. Fr- yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. First one's always free, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. It's still, it's still so funny sometimes how, you know, I, obviously some people get aggressive when you bring this up, but it's uh, really, it's really you think? One. Yeah. I Did you hear? Using the one. Oh, go. Oh, not 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 to keep it, but did, there was a, a body language lady that came out today, a born bombards body language, and she was covering Matt's video where he sat on the couch and he was actually coherent, and right. she got about five minutes in, and she's going, oh, that's a lie, he's hiding something there, he seems really nervous, and then she gets it five minutes in, you know, she's going, well, this is obvious, and then she just loses it. She's going, well, he's obviously full of crap because Flat Earth is a horror, you know, it's like she's completely left character. It is like, the guy's uh, lying because Flat Earth is not real. Flat Earth's not real, and she just starts going into the stuff. Ships going on the horizon, and the Earth is in shadows, and all. oh, God. It was amazing, though. So I mean, I mean, literally, the, if the movie the kicks all, in. The, the thing's only six minutes long. First five minutes, perfectly calm. Yes, and I can see he's blinking too much there. It's really, she's talking like a golf announcer. And then right. at five minutes, she's going, and then, well, he's lying through his teeth. Because Flat Earth is a piece of crap! It's like, it's like holy crap. I was like, oh, wow. It, that's what's... Yeah. That, you want, in fact, I should use some of that. Uh, she's got like <laughs> eighty something thousand subscribers. I should use that part. Like when wow. you come, I should like use her voice and put it over something funny. You know what? Oh my god, I've got it. I've got. It. I'm gonna overlay her onto a movie which I saw. It was a Japanese version of a Godzilla remake. Totally gonna do that. Nice. And, nice. and watch, watch her just freaking. Lo- yep. I and you just inspired me right there. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Perfect. I got. I Perfect. still gotta take more calls. Is there anyone shout outs you gotta do? All right. Or just everybody, you love you all. Everybody's great. You know, I mean, just try to stay neutral. Don't jump the gun and make assumptions yeah. and, you know, pay attention. See what's and going on. Stay away on, from know. the drama it, unless you're on camera. Yeah, I mean, I can it's tell you. cool. We can all just hang out and talk and, you know, research. And like me and uh, that one guy, THC gets you high, but helium gets you higher. That's, That's his nice. YouTube channel. That's good. He's, um, his name's Anthony. He is an, he's absolutely a scientist. He doesn't, he doesn't, um, push, you know, recreational marijuana. He right. pushes medicinal and he does the science behind it. Amazing. You could sit and talk to him for hours and the things that he talks about and you wonder why we're all so sick and so messed up. Right. You know, uh, it's crazy, but that's what I mean. The community we're coming together. Everybody's, Got different knowledge, different things oh, yeah. we're sharing. It's yeah. awesome. It, awesome. Oh, yeah. Love the everybody. cohesion's amazing. I, I think we're doing a bang up job. And we hit uh, 17.5 this morning. This thing's just going nice. up and up. Hey, I'm going to add this while I got real quick. Hang on one second. Oh, shout out to this. Brian Burton. 
Okay. Master hey, six, six one area code. And Lee, six, I haven't talked there? to him in a while. No. He got sacrificed to the phone guy. And Lathaniel, I hope he's listening. He got just, bummed out. He got sold out. He never got his ticket. He's bummed. Well, there may be but, more tickets. But I think up. he's. Th- I think he's still coming down anyway. I said, come down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, come, come down you know? anyway. Why not? I mean, you never know. You know? And besides, here, I hate to say this, but if you got a ticket, you want to make a little money, you may be able to scalp this thing. Who would have ever thought? <laughs> yeah, right. Tickets on eBay. Got your, got your flatter here. Got your flatter. I got VIP. I got general admission. Front row. Front row. Uh, honestly, it's a nice place to stay. It's going to, you know, it's a nice area. There's stuff you could do. You know, yeah. even during the conference, even if you're not inside, there's going to be a million people around to talk to, talk to and meet and oh, say yeah. hello. And yeah, so oh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I people, well, yeah. And if yeah. there's and if there's people shooting it outside, you know, people that want to interview people outside, sure, why not? Right. I mean, if right, you're not right. sitting down there listening, you, know, you could be interviewed. Shoot, maybe I'll do a pink mohawk so they grab me. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, don't, don't don't do that. Man. Yeah, no, I I can't. No, I can't pull that off. Oh, that would be bad. Oh. All right, man. You have a, candy, you have a good rest your- candy should stay pink. I think she would be <laughs> decent to talk to. Better than I, some crazy tinfoil hatter. <laughs> you know, you're right. Candy wouldn't be that bad. No. I'm just no, saying I'm just saying that I no, no, in fact she'd probably be fine. I'm just saying that th- she might be gravitated towards because they're gonna go, why not go after right. her? So. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe she should keep it pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all right cool cool all awesome, right man. man thank you hey, love talking yeah good... keep up the good work you've been putting up some good vids dude i like the last couple ones they were really good thank you thank you all right yeah, man you have definitely. a you have a good night all righty take it easy i'll be on later if you want to stop by okay okay we're still taking calls 720-897-6111 and right now we are playing phone roulette and yes i'm still going to say roulette because I'm not saying roulette table, because all the roulette numbers, we're just going to keep picking up calls. We're going to pick them up until I can hear somebody say something on the other side. As long as she stays awake, peanut gallery, and uh, let's see, 612 cannot hear me, I don't think, at the moment. 612 of you have now been sacrificed to the phone gods, unfortunately. Let's try an international call, 61. International 61, can you hear me? Nope. Well, no, no, they can hear me. I can't hear them. You know what? I should probably reverse how I'm saying that. 6-1, can you hear me? And if he doesn't say anything the first time, then I say, well, nothing I can do for you at the moment. Just keep calling back. Keep calling back. I will be able to get you in here eventually. Whatever this is, I have to keep resetting. 718, let's try 718. He's been trying a whole bunch of times. 718, can you hear me? Hey, Mark, it's me again. Hey, what's up? I was, I was going to ask you... Uh, how do I get in contact with Mark? He was just on the phone before. He said he wanted to get in contact, see maybe we can get together, talk about some fire stuff, this and that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hang on. Uh, his phone number is... One second. I'll just, I'll just put it out ten. there. It's New York. He's not going to mind. It is... Oh, boy. Let's see if I can find this sucker. Take your time. It is eight... Yeah, and he's the guy with the it is flat eight letters license plate on his car. No way. Yeah. I'll like I'll, I'll search off for that one. He's gonna he's gonna be driving that down from where I understand to the conference to be part of the flat earth car rally, which is not gonna be that big. <laughs> but there are gonna be quite a few because there a lot of East Coast people within driving distance are gonna drive down there. So I wish I could make it, but indeed. Uh... Oh no worries. No worries, man. We'll, we'll, it's all, we're all on the same journey. We'll all get there eventually. <laughs> you guys aren't doing anything, anything in New York, like any conferences or any like get togethers and stuff well, like that? Well, not yet, but if people yeah. want to organize, if people, if anyone wants to do an impromptu thing in New York, I would be happy to organize it or happy yeah. to uh, promote it on my show, not organize it, but uh, happy to promote it. But the, it'll happen. Don't worry. There's going to be a, there's going to be, look, I did, I did two in small towns in Canada just recently. And I, if we, if I can do them up there and get twenty, thirty people, then I can, we can do these things anywhere. Yeah, definitely. New York should get at least fifty to hundred people. Oh mm-hmm. my God, are you kidding? We should have more than that. At we least. should have a celeb show up in one of those. <laughs> definitely for sure. All right, Hopefully man. Put up a billboard. Yeah. 
That's going to happen. And also, well, there's there's a New Jersey billboard that's going to happen up there. Um, Why well, well, County? I don't know. Check with a channel called uh, Infinite Plane Society. He's the he's the one that's organizing that one. All right, I'll look at that. And one more right. question. Remember, you said something about the apps. I can't find anything on the on the app store. Uh, yeah. the apps for just flat Earth in general. Yeah. Um, just it, so if you go into the app store and you type in flat Earth, do you see anything? No, I don't know. Type in it's my weird. name next time you go in and just try that. It's either my okay. name or maybe Jaron or Patricia Steer. No problem, perfect. I'll look into that. Sounds okay. good. All right. Um, Have a good one. You should take care. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Did I pick up any other calls while I was waiting that could hear me? Because if I can't hear you, if you're saying something and I cannot hear you, and feel free to interrupt, that means you were sacrificed to the phone god, otherwise known as the ghost of Richard Hatch, as the peanut gallery loves to say. And Mark from New York says, no, no what? Your phone number? Why not? Just your phone number. It's New York, right? Well, say something. Hopefully I didn't get him in trouble. <laughs> Let's try 612. 612, area code. 612, 612. Can you hear me, 612? Nope, he cannot. But we're still working on this. Don't worry, guys. We'll figure this out eventually. Uh, let's try... This one's coming in from overseas. I'm still trying to land this one. 6-1. It's kind of like fishing. 6-1, overseas. Can you hear me? 6-1. Nope. How about 713? 7-1-3. We're just. I'm just literally just clicking add to group, add to group, add to group, and I'm waiting for someone to say hi Hello? that I can hear. Yeah. Which, which number is this? 713. Perfect. Hey, 713. What's going on? Mark Sargent, I can't believe I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? First time you called in? Yeah, absolutely. I've been listening to you for a while, but never, uh, never stayed up to uh, call in. Seven, long-time listener, first-time caller, 713, out of, where are you calling from? Houston, Texas. Right on. You are in the neighborhood of Patricia Steer. She actually lives down there. Oh, awesome. I know. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, I listen to y'all's program as well. Cool. What, uh, what, well, don't be nervous. And hey, it's just you, me, and probably <laughs> millions of people. What's, uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What, what, what's on your mind? What's, what inspired you to call tonight? Uh, I, I, I've been wanting to call you and I just basically tell you, man, that, uh, you kind of helped get me into this just about a, over a year ago, probably. Oh, right on. And, uh, you and Eric Dubay. <clears throat> and uh man just to tell you that great job man i love it i i, I am glad you like the show i never thought in a million years that we would be as far as we were with the conferences and the meetups and 24 7 channels and web pages and uh, there's all sorts of fun stuff that's been happening with this and it just keeps resonating and keeps getting bigger and bigger the numbers do not lie it's all oh, flat it's gonna die it's like really because this morning it hit 17 and a half million uh, no, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, we're tracking literally. We're beating Lady Gaga every day right now. I, I'm still. We're not as high as Katy Perry and Taylor Swift, but I mean, come on. They've got marketing machines behind them. What do we got? And and we're yeah, just exactly. under. So like Donald Trump comes in at about 19 right now, and he's probably the most talked about president in the history of presidents because of social media and all that. And so many people hate him. So, you know, and we're still, we're again, marketing machines, mainstream media. We're, do, we're not, we don't have any of this. So yeah, exactly. The billboard is, is really cool. Yeah. Wasn't the billboard fun? That was, that was a great <laughs> idea. I'm glad they oh, did and it. I love the, the chat rates uh, was amazing. That was great. You know, the, I got to tell you, uh, again, coming from a gaming world, the chat raid thing is fun. It's, it's infectious because you're just running around into another chat and you know, it doesn't matter. It, you don't, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to swear. You don't have to do anything bad. You're just saying flat earth, flat earth, flat earth. It's all, you know, in a thousand different ways and people just freak out because they've never seen this before. It's not just that you're taking over the chat. 
It's that you're bringing up a topic that, and you're doing it with such enthusiasm. Remember the one guy going back to IPS's channel to see where this started from. And there were you know 500 people live watching this. He's going, wait, there, there can't be actually 500 of them. He thought it was just a couple guys. He, they were just spamming. And it's like, no, 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 man. There were at least 500 people in that room. And that was just that was just one division, you know. There's there's so many flat earthers that could you know imagine if a Globebusters hangout decided to take over a chat room. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. Yeah, Globebusters is pretty big. Yeah, going with fifteen hundred people and just you wouldn't even have a chat. In fact, we watched other people shut down their chats because of it because we just we can overwhelm them in less than five minutes. And it's yeah. above board as far as I know. It doesn't break any YouTube rules. So good for them. I hope I hope they keep doing it. Any, uh, oh, wait, well, we're going to, I'm going to keep you for another 45 seconds at least. Cause we're going to break here in a minute. Uh, any, any shout outs you want to do any, any little tidbits of information you want to throw? Yeah, I could just, uh, I just shout out to my wife, uh, Edith and, uh, the guys at work, they're going to definitely hear this here in a day or two. So, uh, Yep, uh, but yeah, man, I appreciate you taking my call. I was uh, kind of nervous about calling in, but I'm glad I did. Right on, man. Hey, you have a good rest of your evening. Thanks a lot, man. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, call in. No hate, no hype, no, 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 no fear. We are TFR Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part four of four, your last chance to talk to me. And we've got someone on the line, and I'm sorry I held you internationally through the break. Where are you calling oh, from? Hey, Mark, your friend from Australia. <clears throat> Australia? How's that oh, even Australia. possible? You, sh- you should be up. How, how can you even talk to me when you're upside down? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hang on to the earth. Thank you, by the way, for being persistent. The uh, I saw your call coming a whole bunch of times, and as you know, I'm playing phone roulette tonight. <laughs> so, not deliberately. I'm not playing phone roulette deliberately. It's just that I keep hitting add to group, and I'm I've only got like a twenty percent success rate. So all these people keep <laughs> they keep yelling at me. I'm sure and the other guys <laughs> like, Mark, can you hear me? I can't hear you. So, uh, what uh, what's going That's on? Ah, uh, yeah, I was. I've called you a couple of weeks ago about the um, underwater uh, communications cables. Right, I kinda, right, right, right. I'll, I'll, yeah, along the lines of that, like um, I, was, I was listening to Jaron talk about the satellite TV and how kind of he thinks it could be done by balloons. But yep. um, yeah, my, my friend in the communications industry that works for Telstra, which is our biggest kind of um, yeah, communications uh, provider in Australia, um, he was saying that all the phone towers are shared with the satellite TV, which is Foxtel in Australia. So it's, it's, it's not yet. All the, all the satellites on the houses are po- pointing to north. Yeah. So whatever tower is north of them, they pick up that tower. And that tower sure. can regulate how many people they get in that, in that area as well. So right. there's no need for satellites or, or balloons. or. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and of course... You know, the easiest explanation, if you, because we've been laying, you know, underwater cables for what, a hundred years. And if, if, if underwater cable technology has gotten better and it really, really has, as far as, you know, the efficiency of how we can do it and how long they last, you just keep doing that and then take the minimum amount of towers. And sure, I'm sure the NASA balloons are used for something, but if you can, if you can lean most of your bandwidth on the ground stuff, that's what you go with. Why? Yeah, why would ma- absolutely massive, massive? There's, there's there tens of terabytes of um, per second at the moment that they can oh, reach yeah. from, from all the ground stuff. So there's, there's no need for there's the satellites anyway. But um, yeah, it was, I was. Uh, did you see what Jaron put out? Uh, I think it was yesterday. He was talking about it about the um, the video that he put out that uh, about the about the star trails. Right. 
What do you think of that? Did you see it? Um, no, but I imagine I've seen a variation of it. Uh, with, with me, yeah, the star yeah, with yeah. Uh, it, with me, the star trails aren't really a problem. And I maybe I'm one of the few people in flat Earth that that has played so many games. And I've I've really probably played a lifetime worth of games before I was thirty. And when I got into once I got into the the software and development side of it, when I was working closely with the developers, I saw what could be done with the sky. So when it came to the star trail, I was like, look, you know, we can, we can do instant, we can instance the sky. We can set up multiple sets of stars. But since that the key here is since you can only be in one place at one time, you can't compare it directly. And so yeah, it's, right, yeah. it, it's, but it, it totally can work. And people say, well, why do you see one set of star trails, you know, in the Southern hemisphere versus the North? I'm going, because it's completely separate regions. <laughs> We can do this. We can do this now. It's so easy to do with a projection system. And I know people have a hard time. He's like, no, because people do not like thinking they're in a giant planetarium. They they don't do it. But I'm going to look for me. It makes things so much easier, so much easier. But I will go back and revisit yeah, yeah. Jaren's thing when I can. Yeah. What 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 Jaren yeah what Jaren was putting out. He actually made a physical model of the of the of the globe and put a pointer towards um towards Polaris and find right. the globe. Yep. And it never ever stayed on Polaris. Like it just can't work in a globe model. So he just blew that out of the water. So it's more proof yeah. towards. Oh well, towards for me, for me, the parallax thing comes into play. And again, that's another gaming thing, which exactly, is yeah. and uh, all, it, all like, the dust that's out there and yeah, everything oh, yeah. in between, everything. How can we? Nothing ever dims. Nothing ever goes away. There's always stars every single night. Right. Good. Good point. Excellent point. And yeah, there's too many things wrong with the sky, but not, not to say that, you know, it was, that it's obvious and people should have caught it all these years because lots of people didn't. They just assumed from all the models we've been shown for centuries and centuries that it was the truth. No one questioned it. No different than the pilots, the pilots flying. They see a flat horizon every single day they fly because they fly above the weather, but because they are raised as children thinking it's a globe, uh, you know, and of course, pilots are really, really busy. You know, you're you're, la- you're taking off, you're landing, you're trying not to kill anybody. They don't, they don't think about it. So when everyone says all oh, the yeah. pilots have to be in on it, it's like, no, they don't. They don't have to be on it. That's right. Um, yeah. One other thing, I heard a couple of weeks ago, someone from uh, I think it's Phoenix Rising Radio right was called up to to want to deba- debate you about the flat Earth. Like I think it's nice nay- or something like that. Is is that going any further or? Him up oh, debate, debate me or anybody in general? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, debate you. Yeah, he, he called you up and he said he, he wanted debate. Oh, yeah, that I guy never called. Yeah, that I no, I remember that. No, that guy never did a follow up call or email. In fact, I was waiting for it. It's like, all right. I mean, I get, yeah, I don't cool. mind debating anybody that wants to, but you got to have something in something. <laughs> so there was one guy that said, "Well, I've got a, I've got a master's degree in computer science." I was going, "Well, that's not exactly." <laughs> A physical science. Uh, computer science is a little bit different. I know it's called computer science, but it's it's different. But that other guy, uh, no, he never he never contacted me. And again, I don't mind. Oh, yeah. Someone wants to debate me, that's fine. But there are people literally lined up behind me, waiting to debate. And I promise, at least two people that they get the next shot. And you, know, you probably, if you listen to the beginning of this show, there's uh, there's other debates happening. Zen Garcia is going to do a big throwdown in Atlanta this mm-hmm. summer. Which is going to be fun. Oh, oh it's yeah, going to be more. Wait for that one, yeah. The, the, that's going to be, but it is going to be. Just the best, like. Yeah, it's going to be filmed, and and I hope that the. I mean, it's going to be Christian based, which is fine. Uh, but we're still waiting for for heavier hitters. You know, honestly, if Bill Nye came out, I don't know if we'd even take him seriously, because it's like, dude, you still don't have a <laughs> master's degree in anything. So I mean, no. I don't, I don't care if you're tired. Just going to work way up, but yeah. Uh, yeah. The debate is just the best because yeah, it's, it's kind of actually yeah. Hidden, hidden against someone and then and, and just yeah, kind of disproving yeah, what they have to say and just reinforcing what 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 our proofs are and that sort of thing. Um, right. I was just going to say a shout out to anyone in Australia. Like yeah, I've got heaps of information on communications, ground based sort of thing. If anyone in Australia wants to email me, my um, email is oz is flat number two at hotmail dot com. I'll spell it. Oh, um, so so A-U-S. is that how, wait, is that is that Sorry? flat pound two or flat num? How do you spell that? Uh, oh, just the number two at the end. But oh, okay. So Oz just flat, flat, flat two. two. Flat two yeah. at gmail.com. Yeah, Aussie's flat two. 
No, Oz, Oz is flat too. A U S I S F L A T number two at hotmail.com. Got it. Okay. Oz is flat too at hotmail.com. Yep, yep, that's it. Yeah, if anyone in Australia Perfect. wants to meet up or get information or, yeah, just talk. Right on. That's awesome. It's really, really great. Oh, and I'm oh, supposed to, the peanut gallery thanks. just threw in a quote real quick. Um, because if you didn't know, Neil deGrasse Tyson actually met with Katy Perry literally the next day after she talked about Flat Earth briefly, where he goes, this is a quote, he goes, if you don't know and care that you don't know and then are curious to find out, the world is yours. <laughs> That's from Indy. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Anyway, oh, which goes oh, against his, the we'll good thing about science is it's true whether or not you believe in it. All right, any any other other things before I let you go? Uh, no, I've got heaps of more stuff, but yeah, I'm going to have to probably, yeah, write it down and then yeah, call back another time, mate. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks for being <laughs> persistent, man, okay? Oh, thanks, Mark. Have a good one. All right, you too. Love you, work. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, 720-897-6111, and the phone line is just, the hits just keep on coming. Let's try 510. Let's see if we can get this guy in here. 510, can you hear me? 510. Okay, we're just going to try from my side, too. 510, how about 612? We're going to go nonstop calls. 612, 612, can you hear me? If you can't, or if I can't hear you, then you got to hang up. <clears throat> 203, let's try 203. 203, I don't know if I can hear 203. I can't hear 203 yet. How about 510? It's kind of fun, the phone roulette. 510, I can't hear you, so you better say something. Nope. How about 909? I got all sorts of calls coming in. My machine is just going to freak out when I hang up. The buffer is probably huge. 909, nothing. Nothing, not yet. How about 612 again? 612, I think I hear something. How hard we finally figured it out. Out of all and the it's people Wes, that didn't And it's on Wes from Flat Earth News. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, exactly. I'm trying to get people in, and it's Wes I from know, Flat Earth. <clears throat> I know. I'm sitting there. I'm shaking the phone going, come on, answer, answer. Finally nice. got her through. Hey, you, made, you made through. And, oh. and we still have time for a couple more calls. What's up? Yeah, uh, oh, I'm just so really livid on uh, YouTube because of what happened last week. Yeah, you got to be careful. Well, no, the thing is, is that they said straight out, they said it right in there that uh, I wouldn't be able to do a live stream for six days and 16 hours. It has now been two days past that, and it still will not allow me to do a live stream. You cannot get a hold of YouTube. I mean, you can call their Google thing, but that ain't doing you any good. No, you're going to have to do live chat. That's the only way you can do it with those guys. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take my videos and put them on my computer, shut down the site, and just have to restart, which really sucks because I've had that site for 11 years. Well, don't – that might be a bit extreme, don't you think? Well, it is, but if they're not going to respond to any of my emails – well, don't, okay, don't don't shut down the site. Just move the videos over to another thing and leave that site up until – Yeah, don't don't kill it out of spite. I mean, even though I love spite and being stubborn, yeah, don't do that. Right. Don't, I because, wish I knew enough about computers where I could uh, give them a nice little algorithm to shut YouTube down altogether. No. Well, <laughs> the, if you did that, unfortunately, because of the parent company involved – there would be probably three or four federal agencies looking for you almost immediately. And you would have to flee the country and you'd have to go to a non-extradition treaty country. (laughs) Well, since I'm still waiting for the mothership, they ain't going to catch me. (laughs) Yeah, that that helps you sound more credible there, Wes. Yeah, right. (laughs) That's awesome. My alien brothers will protect me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. I guess every everybody who was watching me, just keep your eye out. I will. I'll start a new channel and start going live again. Okay. Well, until I, they uh, figure yeah, out what they're going to do keep, with my other keep channel. Keep pestering them. You never know. I've seen weirder things uh, when it comes yeah. to the internet. So don't 
YouTube. You know, the thing I guess that I, I really that really kind of bites me in the or that really irks me is that I took the video down seconds after the uh, live stream ended. Oh, they don't care. They yeah, don't care. It, you, that's yeah. why they put deliberately up there. In fact, one of their messages, if you probably says, deleting this video will have no impact on whatever happened. And they do right. that just because otherwise it's a loophole. Otherwise people would, you know how it would go. Kids would do some horrible stuff and then they delete it so quickly that, you know, if it didn't count. So if it's, if, if you get, if you get the slap on the wrist, the slap doesn't go away just because you moved your hands real fast. Right. As, yeah. as the closest analogy I could come up with at the, at the, right now. Oh, any, um, any, any other little things that you wanted to, I, you know, I mean, I, I was going to talk about the incident on the, uh, um, the media, but it's the same old bitch that I have. It's like, there they go. Making us look like shit again. No, no, no. Don't worry about them. We've, we're, we're doing, we're making huge, huge gains. You don't have to worry about the media there. Yes. Right. I remember, don't, don't forget what, what I, I talked about a long time ago, which was if <clears throat> uh, at least a first timer, if you're not making fun of flat earth as a first timer, there's yeah. something wrong with you. Because yeah. everybody does. Everybody does. You probably did. Maybe not as maybe not as much as others. But remember, also media has an obligation for their viewers slash readers slash whatever. You know, they they know it's okay. We don't want to is even even if you believe in it, you've got to play play it close to the vest. I mean, yeah, there's some YouTube channels that'll that'll finally jump on board with us, but most of them will will stay in the closet. You know, they'll right. be like, okay, I get it. I get it. I'm just going to wait till there's more people on the dance floor, which is why I posted that video about the dancing guy down at that Oregon festival. You know, he once right. it hits critical mass, everybody goes in because nobody wants to be the only person on the sidelines. So exactly. Don't worry, we got yeah, this. No problem. All over. So. All right, man. I uh, just right. wanted to say hello to everybody out there, all my normal people, Zulu and Candy and Larry, and I could the list goes on. I guess cool. we're going to be doing our thing tonight, so hopefully you'll be able to join us. Uh, you know, as I'm building the show, I will do what I can. All right, Mark. You have a good All right. day. All right, you too. All right, bye. Bye bye. All right, we're going to keep doing phone roulette till the end of the show. And if 215, if I can't hear him, he has been sacrificed to the phone gods, the fickle phone gods. Please be dressed. Please be dressed. <laughs> Peanut Gallery wanted Wes to be dressed and that he may have to move to Antarctica. I'm just going to keep, keep adding calls until I hear somebody's voice. So we're going to click on 909. I don't know if 909 can hear me. You guys know the drill, right? So all I'm doing is I'm saying add to group. And so when you hear me talking, just interrupt, say hi. And if I can hear you, well, then you're the lucky guy that came through. And I hear somebody. Mr. Sergeant, how are you? I'm good. Which which line is this? Yeah, this is the Flat Earth Squirrel from Fairfield County, Connecticut. How are you? Cool. Uh, I I'm, I'm I'm hanging in there. I'm I'm adding yeah, phone I've calls. Yeah, I've talked to you before. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a guy from like Fairfield around the Yale area. We we talked before. Nice, excellent. But uh, you know, I was just uh, I was just listening to something interesting the other day from Richie from Boston. I don't know if you knew who he is, but he I have heard of about, yes. um, yeah, he was talking about, um, Carrie's, uh, visit out to, uh, Antarctica. And I thought that was really interesting because one thing that he did bring up was that most people that were actually on that trip, they lost GPS on their phones when they actually got there. And oh, I don't know if know that this. is true. Yeah, I don't know if you knew about this or not, because I was actually thinking about this, because GPS has to be a ground-based system. Obviously, there's no satellites up there. Obviously. And, you know, just going off your, you know, Well, you know, what's interesting. And everything. You, know, you know what's interesting about that? Well, one, of course, that Kerry was down there on election night, which it just, it's mind-boggling to me. It's like, look, you should be with Hillary, since, you know, this election's a, a shoe in right? But... What's also interesting about that is before I was saying that GPS didn't work down there, <clears throat> Matt was, Matt Boylan. He was saying that GPS doesn't yeah. work down there. And 
he was saying that in which is now people are saying, oh, no, it's not a true story. It's not a true story. It's like, I still believe that part of that story is true because, you know, he what? Wouldn't... I, I believe that as well. I definitely believe it because there's absolutely no way in hell that it could work down there because you run out, you're just running out. It, it, it yeah. doesn't work anymore. No, no, but, but yeah. I thought it was very interesting when they brought that up and I just wanted to run it by you. Um, we're the, going through a heat wave down here in Connecticut right now. Really? Oh yeah. It was about 90, 95 degrees here in Fairfield County today. And that it is, was just that brutal. So but, uh, cool. I just wanted to, uh, you know, check in guy from New York. I hope you're listening. We love you. And, uh, D I T R H. We love you. And Patricia steer and obviously Mark Sargent. I don't but, know that uh, guy, Mark, Mark Sargent. I, just... <laughs> I used hey, to Mark, be called uh, Robert I'm... Paulson. You know what's bad, by the way, is when people are doing that meme that I am Mark Sargent. I, you know, Robert Paulson died <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> so it's like, okay, is this some foreshadowing that I don't know about? It's like, because I keep thinking now, I have to, if, if I die, the meme becomes huge. Because then I actually yeah. happen. Then people are going to be walking around, I am Mark Sargent. And all the shirts will be black. So as uh, Yeah. It's so, like a Terminator theme almost. Zach, Zach, so hopefully I won't die. Hey, uh, Mark, I just have uh, one uh, question of advice to ask you. I'm looking yeah. to start like a, a little group down here in Fairfield County, Connecticut. Like, what do you think is the best thing to do that? Twitter, YouTube? Um, YouTube. Just, YouTube. Just okay. set, put it in the title saying Flat Earth Meetup. Make sure Flat Earth is in the title. Always put Flat Earth in the title. And, awesome. and much called. respect to you, man. Hey, listen, I put everything on my flat earth channel on YouTube, uh, yep. all about you and Patricia and B I T R H. Uh-huh. Well, That's tell all you what, I do, man, is repost tell you what your I'll, stuff to get it back out there. I'll tell you. Thank you. Thank you. And what I will do for you, if you make a flat earth meetup thing on, cause again, I can't build videos for everybody, even though I'd like to, uh, if you make your own little video, I will mirror it on my channel. So oh, sure. all you have to do is That's get really up nice on yours. It, no, no worries. And you don't even have to, you don't even have to send me an original copy. I'll just rip it down, throw it up on my channel and say, flat earth meetup, Connecticut. If anyone knows where Connecticut is. People yeah, that's awesome. I, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm a blue collar guy. I don't know too much about computers, but I'm just trying to get the word out there and then trying to get the people involved. All right. Well, if, if worse comes to worse, tell you what, if you can't put a video together, if for whatever reason, if you, if you're having problems with a video, let, just let me know where it's going to be and when and i will use the same template i used for the colorado guys and the florida guys and the other people and i'll i'll put something up for you okay awesome man hey uh mark we all love you down here in connecticut and as i say before god bless mark Sargent. oh uh, thank you and flat earth love yeah. to all my friends <laughs> all right brother hey, hey have all a right. great night mark we love you all right, all right. you care. too all right see you man Okay, last chance for people to call during the fun and always entertaining and yet first time uh, Flat Earth Phone Roulette where I am just keep hitting add to group until I can hear somebody's voice because Microsoft can suck it. Let's try this one. 909 area code. And I don't hear anything yet, which means that 909 has now been sacrificed to the phone gods. Goodbye, 909. How about 510? Let's try 510. 510. Can't hear 510. You should see my screen. It's just full of phones. Full of phones. 510. Can't hear him either. He has to go back into the queue, which is interesting. I pick black 15. Ah, I get it. Squirrel, I'm copywriting it then. Peanut Gallery, you are a funny guy. I got to admit. All right, let's try my phone thing my phone trick too because we still got time we still got uh next call probably the last call let's do this one more time so last chance for anybody to call in whoever calls in next and makes it through you're it sounds like a grade school thing uh 303 303 did 303 make it no he didn't make it he tried let's try 510 one more time will i get another call in before the night is done that is the challenge for mark Will anybody get to Kim in here? Keep trying, guys. 909, as my eyes are fading because I'm getting old. 909, can you hear me? 909. Nope, 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 nope. Can I read an email? 
about Flat Earth and trivia again? Oh, by the way, because you know I forgot. Uh, yeah, that was Joe Jackson stepping out from his album Night and Day. And shame on you, Peanut Gallery, for not actually typing that in about 15 minutes ago. This one's called... No, I'm not going to do Flat Earth News. Uh, I'll, I'll cover it tomorrow with Patricia. There's, there's too much stuff going on there. There's so much Flat Earth. In fact, most of it's drama, and I really don't want to cover the drama. 909, area code. Can I get 909? Can I get a 909? Anybody? Maybe if I said a little prayer to the phone god. Oh, phone god, what have I done to forsake thee from my connections? I don't have anything good there. This one's called, nope, nope. How about that one? 303, 303. 909's connected, but I cannot hear the guy. I feel bad for him. 909 may be the last call because, well, let's try 510. 510. How about you? Nope. <laughs> I tell you, it's probably frustrating to hell for you guys, but it's kind of fun for me because I, I literally don't know wh when I'm clicking on these, maybe one's going to pick up. Okay, this one's called Flat Earth and Trivia Game. Let's just keep reading. I've been playing a trivia game recently and suggested a question that got accepted into the pool of questions, which isn't easy to do. Thought you'd enjoy this, especially with your background and beliefs. I've included a question in my answers. The last choice, last choice is obviously to spread the word. Love your work. Keep it up, Mark. Stay flat. P.S. The game is called Trivia Crack. What? Nice. Thanks, Corey. But I, 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 I can't read it at the moment. Is there a trivia question on here? What is opposite of the heliocentric belief? The Earth is stationary. That's oh, good. 909 area code. We only got like two minutes to the break, and I don't think I'm going to get a guy in here. I'm sorry. Uh, this one's called... Oh, you know what? Let's just do quick little announcements. Let's not read any more emails. While I'm waiting for phone calls tomorrow, I'm going to be, of course, on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes with Patricia Steer at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And another one is Sacrifice of the Phone Gods. That's 510. And, yes, I know, peanut gallery plugs. Uh, also, check out enclosedworld.com and subscribe to Truth Frequency Radio if you haven't already because there's lots of great stuff. You know, Jaron's on this station. Oh, hey, hey you're on. And you got like you got 60 seconds, my man. All right, no problem. I don't want to waste your time, but just because you're a gamer and I'm a gamer, Super Mario Odyssey is a new game that just came out. And they released a special promo called the Wooded Kingdom Demonstration. It's on their YouTube page. Yeah. Basically, at the 6 minute and 15 point, they look up at the sky, and what do they say? Oh, my gosh, is that a dome? It looks like there's a dome-like structure. <laughs> so I that's find that awesome. amazing that, you know, that, you know, that's just something I caught up today. And then also, I was just doing some retro cartoon watching. Any Angry Beavers fans out there from the 90s, I want you to check out episodes, um, season three, Episode one, it's called Funny Bodyguard, and exactly at the uh, at the two minute and thirty five second mark, he says, "Where on this green disc we call the uh, this flat green disc that we call the Earth are we gonna find ourselves a bodyguard?" Nice so just, man. You know, <laughs> so some nineties, you know, flashback trivia with some modern day stuff, but I don't want to waste your time. God cool. bless you, Mark. You guys. Evie, what is this? What is this? Is that a model of the flat, geocentric Earth? <laughs> nice. I had to make a new one. What are you doing? <laughs>